Hey guys, it's Danny, and we just wrapped up another Facebook Live. I made some no bake energy balls, delish. So now I wanted to come and share them with you. Enjoy. Hello, hello, my friends. We are live here on Facebook Friday. So um, let me know, say hello as you join along. My name is Danny Speeds, here for Clean and Delicious. Today I am showing you guys how to make no bake energy balls. Now these are such a great snack because number one, they have chocolate chips in them so they kind of uh, satisfy the sweet tooth, um, but they're really nutrient dense and they are delicious and they're super convenient. And if you guys like to do meal prep, as you know I like to do, it's a great thing to add to your meal prep on the weekend. Make a whole bunch. You can even double the recipe because you can store them in the fridge or the freezer. So Great, great for lunch boxes, great for afternoon coffee, great to support before or after a workout. Very versatile snack we're gonna be doing here, my friends. So I'm gonna set my phone up over here and we're gonna jump right into the recipe. As always, if you have questions, put them in the comments below and we shall get to them. Um, so this recipe is, here's what we're using, okay? Oats, some type of nut butter. I've got peanut butter, crunchy. Honey, you could also do maple syrup ground up flaxseed, uh, mini chocolate chips, and a little vanilla extract. That's all it takes. So this is a great like dump and stir kind of recipe. Good for anybody. I'm gonna say, I wanna say it's great for moms because we're always so busy and our kids always need to eat. But you know what, it's also great for students, um, anybody who's working full time and just has a busy schedule. I feel like it's almost everybody these days. So you're gonna start with one cup of rolled oats. Try to get old fashioned rolled oats because if you get the, um, the quick cooked oats, it's gonna have a different texture and it absorbs more, uh, so it's not gonna hold together as well, okay? Then we are going to add to this a half a cup of ground flaxseed. Now guys, if you're not familiar with flaxseed, they are a great vegetarian source of those heart healthy omega-3s, right? A lot of people think we need to eat salmon or some type of animal to get those healthy fats. You do not. You can get them from dark leafy greens and you can get a really good dose from flax seeds like we have right here. Now here's the key with flax seeds. A lot of times, what's wrong? Something wrong with the light. Sorry. <laughs> My husband's walking all over the place. Okay, just stay. All right, but the light is bright. That's why I don't want to hurt people's okay. eyes. It's okay. Thank you for thinking about that, but we're going to have to just work with it. Okay, so um, so I have a cup of blah, blah, blah. If you buy flax seeds, and they're, they're little tiny seeds if you buy them intact, you have to grind them up before you eat them because they're so small, the chances of you biting through them and then your body being able to assimilate them is not very likely. So if you buy them in seed form, you're gonna have to get a coffee grinder or something to grind them up, or you can buy them pre-ground like I have here, okay? And that's the way you want to ingest them. Now, technically buying them in seed form, they will last longer. Um, but sometimes you just have to go with convenience. You know what I'm saying? So that's in the bowl. Next up, I have a half a cup of crunchy peanut butter. Whenever you're making a recipe that, especially a recipe like that is a baking oh recipe God. that calls for nut butter. Just go with it, please. Um, that calls for nut butter. Always try to keep it at room temperature because once you put it in the fridge, it gets cold and it's really hard to work with. You could do almond butter. If you can't do any nuts, guys, you can do sun nut butter, sunflower seed butter. Then we have a third of a cup of honey. This could also be maple syrup. We don't discriminate up in here. Any liquid sweetener really would do. A kiss of vanilla extract. And then... Last but not least, we're sprinkling in the chocolate chips. And I'm using mini chocolate chips because these are gonna be little tiny, like one inch balls I'm gonna roll them into, but you could certainly um, use regular full size chocolate chips. I just think it's easier to work with this way, okay? Then you're just gonna stir this all together. So seriously, this recipe could not be any easier. My peanut butter is salted. So I'm not adding any extra salt, but if you didn't have salted peanut butter, I would recommend like a nice hearty pinch of some kosher sea salt in here, just to give it that little, kind of brightens up all the flavors, okay? I'm gonna give this a stir, let's see, what do we have? What's the difference between flax seed meal and ground flax seed? Flax seed meal is ground flax seed, so it's just, a, it's just a wording thing. A lot of times that's the way you'll see it labeled, so great question. Um, can chia seeds be used in place of the ground flaxseed? 
Is one seed more health beneficial than the other? Um, chia seeds, I think would probably work, but I'm not positive. Um, because those are going to be like little seeds and they absorb a lot. They, you know, they... they probably gets too. I think it could work. It's worth trying if you're open to experiment with it. And no, I think both of these seeds, they both have a lot of similar properties and a lot of similar health benefits. So I think when it comes down to flax seeds versus chia seeds, it's not even worth trying to... Uh, like, you know, nitpick at which one's better. They're both really good for you and they're both very similar in what they offer and I wouldn't sweat it too much. I think when you get to stuff like that, ask yourself, which one do you enjoy more, right? Because if you're trying to eat health foods, I'm not saying you are, Nikki, but if you're trying to eat health food because it's healthy, but you don't enjoy it, you're removing a huge um, part of the pleasure, which removes a huge part of the nourishment, right? Nutrients. What's in the food is just a part of the equation. The whole eating experience, enjoying our food, getting pleasure from our food, that is what nourishment is, right? Who we eat with, how we eat. Uh, so it's all equally important. Okay, so you can see once this comes together, it's like a sticky dough. Oh my gosh, I just wanna put my fingers in there and eat it right now. Hi from California, Vicki, hello. Rainy California. Oh, I heard that you guys are getting a big storm today. Kate Doyle, do you, do you do raw honey? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I'm buying and what I'm not. If I do raw honey, this is a good recipe to use it in because you're not cooking it, right? Because if you're doing raw honey, you don't want to heat it. Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of the nutritional benefits. So then I have a rimmed baking sheet. You could certainly do parchment paper here. That would be my first choice, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to spray it because they, they can stick once you get them down there. Okay, then what you want to do is grab about a tablespoon, right? And you're gonna roll it between your palms, just like you're doing a meatball. You know, growing up in an Italian kitchen, anytime I'm rolling something like this, it's going to be equated to a meatball in my world, right? So like little meatballs, and I don't know, would you say that's the size of a golf ball? Might be a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. And I, um, I don't even, I don't remember about how many we're gonna get out of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a handful of them while I look at your comments here, guys, okay? Sandra says, hey Danny, thanks for these great ideas. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. I look forward to these so much on Fridays because first of all, it's Friday, right? So it's exciting because it's the end of the week, but this is like my favorite thing to do. I love all of the videos we shoot, but the live videos are hands down my favorite. I just like the casual energy and I like that you guys get to bop on and then we get to chat with each other, so much fun. Um, Jessica, should you keep your flax seed meal in the freezer? Yes, or the refrigerator. You definitely want to keep it in a cold, dark place or a cool, dark place because the flax seeds are very delicate. The fats in the flax seeds are very delicate. So you want, if you, they're going to much more likely go rancid on you if they are um, not in a cool, dry place, okay? Same with all of your nuts, guys. The nuts, the oil in the nuts are very delicate, and you will know a rancid nut when you smell it. Like if you open your nuts or your oils and they smell off, it's a very distinct smell um, and taste. Um, if you taste that, you want to get rid of it because you literally just went from something that's rich in antioxidants with all these power benefits to something that is oxidized and does the opposite in your body, right? So antioxidant is going to eat up all that stuff in your body. Oxidized is adding to it. So we want to dump any of that if you find any of your nuts or your seeds go rancid. Not worth keeping. Um, Nikki, I know I don't sound great, but I actually feel really good. You know, when you get like a little cold and for the first few days you're all stuffy, and I feel like now it's all clearing out. Now I sound bad, but I feel good. Um, Christy, hello from Nebraska. Tamara, green juice, carrots, seeded crackers, and hummus. Yummy. What? That's for lunch, I think. Mm, that sounds delicious. Uh, let's see, any questions that I'm missing here? Do you recommend buying grounded flax seeds or whole flax? Okay, so I touched on this a little bit before. I think ideally whole flax, and then you ground them at home yourself because they're going to be fresher, and um, that's always a good thing. But, and they're going to last longer. But... From conven like convenience standpoint, I bought mine pre-ground. So again, you got to make it work for you and your lifestyle. But absolutely, fresh is best. So you always want to go the least processed. So the whole seed is one step less processed than the ground seed. So in my opinion, a better choice. But you got to find it and make it work for you and your lifestyle, right? Okay. 
Hey Danny, this is seven-year-old Gwenny from California again. I am in first grade and I want to try these. Oh Gwenny, I wish you could meet my daughter. You guys can make these together. This is such a perfect kid recipe and I know that you'll enjoy the taste because they, they taste like, um, let me think like peanut butter and chocolate together. You get that little bit of salt because the nut butter is salted or you could add a little bit of salt. Um, good to hear lots of lemon, honey, and whiskey. If you follow me on Snapchat, I showed you guys my dinner last night, which was a cup of throat coat tea with lemon and some uh, uh, black label whiskey. So I'm right there with you, girl. You know what? I'm not one to poo poo the old tried and true techniques, you know? I'm serious about getting healthy. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got, let's see how many we got out of this. Is your peanut butter should be room temperature? Do you leave the whole jar in the fridge and then leave out the amount needed for the recipe? Um, normally, I have so much peanut butter in my pantry that I'll open a new jar when I'm doing a recipe like this, but if that's the case, I would take it out. I'd just take the jar out and leave it until I was gonna use it, or scoop out what you need and throw it in the microwave for a few minutes. It just makes it easier to work with. Okay, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, ah! Uh. If you made them all a little smaller, you could get 20. <laughs> okay. So guys, from here, you would pop these in the freezer. You could also put them in the fridge for them to firm up. You could really eat them just like this. They're delicious. There's nothing in there that has to be cooked. And these are great for, like I said, lunch boxes, um, morning coffee, afternoon coffee, pre-workout, post-workout, sweet treat. It really covers a lot of ground and they are delish and super convenient. Somebody asked what the Snapchat handle was. My Snapchat handle is clean delicious, no and, clean delicious. So look for me there and say hello. Um, would these freeze well? Yes, I know, I'll take them from this and put them right in the freezer usually. Um, bah, bah, bah. My nut butters are always so hard to stir. Any tips for stirring nut butters? Interesting, my first question is are you buying them, um, are, are you trying to stir them cold? You gotta go room temperature. Because if you have room temperature, they shouldn't be super hard to stir. Um, do you keep these in the fridge or freezer? Either one will work. Snapchat handle, you got it. You look so beautiful today. Why, well, Molly, thank you. Um, Danielle Russo, hello, Glenrock, fellow Glenrocker. Hello to you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, so uh, what can I replace for the chocolate? I've been 60 days off for fine sugar. Go, Maya, go. Um, okay, carob, is carob refined? Carob chips, are those refined sugar free? Guys, uh, help Maya out. Let me know if these are or not. With that, raisins or something like that. Right, well, I was gonna go there next. You could do shredded coconut, you could do dried fruit, you could do chopped up dates, um, you could do cacao nibs. Now, those are not going to have any sweetness in them, but they'll give you that really rich, uh, decadent, uh, chocolatey, like, I don't know if you've had the cacao nibs yet. It's not like chocolate chips, but it, it's delicious. So you could do like a little cacao nib and maybe like a little um, dried fruit. A lot of options, okay? Okay, my friends, um, let me just show them the texture real quick and then we'll head out of here. So you can see it like this, they almost look like a raw cookie dough ball, sorta. If you put them in the freezer, they firm up. And that's how we usually eat them, from the fridge or the freezer. But this is equally delicious. Okay, this recipe will be on my blog. I'll put the video on YouTube tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'll see you back here next week. Facebook Friday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Cheers.